Hello and welcome to Michael and Ivanka's Grand Podcast, a weekly podcast where uh, we, we just figure out what we think. Um, my name is Michael Forrest and I'm like a computer nerd who makes apps and makes music. And I'm Ivanka Magic and I'm a sort of different kind of computer nerd who worries about how people use computers. Mm-hmm. Mm. And he's a researcher, you may have heard. Yeah. Um, and uh, <laughs> this week, well, first this week, this is our first live recording, and I'm feeling it. I've, so I've had to set up a few extra technical things this week, and I'm looking at, and Ivanka's sat in a position in the frame where uh, I, I, I can't move her. <laughs> Can you go in the middle? Um, but we're live on Twitch, twitch.tv slash just yeah <laughs> which way I, I is that? framed her up on the thing and now i've got no way to move her um can you just go to your right. left that's it that's it that's it perfect and then um so we're live on twitch.tv which means that we've got a chat we're not going to pay loads of attention to the chat uh, because it's still going to be the podcast so it still needs to work as a podcast but if if we see something interesting in there um you can come and join next week or uh, and um yeah, maybe if, if this is really truly about figuring out what we think, having some more little hints of other voices, I think is going to help us expand our, uh, our, 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 our mindset. Uh, anyway, what are we talking if about? If nothing this week? else, it'll just give Michael <laughs> oh. some more things to play with. <laughs> it'll give me, it's, it's more preparation for me to get everything queued up, but then less editing afterwards, hopefully. So, what are we talking about this week? Uh, we're talking about asking why asking why yes so whenever somebody asks you to do something like take a piece of paper from one counter to another counter or maybe fill in a form in a particular way um then you could say why would you want me to do that who how does that help (laughs) are you mired in weird in bureaucracy in uh, i am yes indeed i'm in uh london you're uh on the island of brach I am in Croatia land. In Croatia, where they have uh, arcane um, <laughs> bureauc- <laughs> it's, bureaucratic it's, strategies. I think it's just uh, it's different. I was explaining to a friend of mine. It's more like I'm very fluent in NHS, for example. Yeah. When it, you know, that's where I've been brought up. That's where everything's worked for me. I know how it works. I know it's and I've been trained to be a good NHS patient and not over drain resources and things like that. And then I come here and, for example, to sign up with a new GP. It, it literally requires one to go from one doctor's office to another going hello uh would you like to have me as a patient please <laughs> and then for them to go yes or no uh and mostly no until mm. you find one that says yes um but so I, what, I, what, I, what sort of criteria do they use to decide i don't i think I think the length of their list, okay. uh, but everybody just says, "Oh no, you have to go and you have to queue." And I, I massively resisted this because I, yeah. oh, I can't do that. So um, I did, I did make it work via the telephone okay. somehow, but so, only because um, I would not give in. You would not give in. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to. I'm not going to be able to cut out my attempts to, to like uh, get. Let's get to the title music. But um, oh yes, yeah, sorry, it's, it's all good. No, no, because um, I'm just trying to think like what other. Um, ways so asking why I think this is after last week's episode where we talked about leverage and how little we have with our podcast really (laughs) (laughs) at least it feels more honest to talk about like asking questioning questioning power feels like a slightly more on it like um, real way to talk about things than um, until we can figure out how to actually affect change which may only be possible if you uh, actually have power you're very, yes. you're like low now <laughs> well <laughs> i was sitting on my feet and then i realized oh, that my feet God were going to go to sleep okay i'm going to need to i'm going to i'm going to i may have to go in and edit it but let's um so this is i think i may have left this too long so that's what we're going to talk about we're going to talk about some other ways in which oh bollocks in which this is all <laughs> Okay. Here we are. We're back. Are we back now? Uh, um, I've I, been here the whole how time. How am I gonna? How am I gonna? How am I gonna? Um, okay, I just need to fiddle a little.
Okay, here we are. How's it going, Ivanka? Uh, it's going. It's going well. Let's say. Let's say it's going well. It's going well. <laughs> As I'm. I'm. I'm a little overtired, so I've got that twitchy eye thing. And so topical. I need to sort that out. Oh, yeah, true. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is a funnier <laughs> podcast than that, I promise. Um, <laughs> um, I, um, yes, I've got a twitching eye, which is annoying me. Mm. I've been waking up early and working a bit late and it's all adding up. But, uh, yes, other than that, I'm really I'm fine. <laughs> so, I mean, but other than the... <laughs> Other than the bad things. <laughs> yeah, other so than the bad things, everything else is good. A bit overworked. <laughs> bit um, over- well, yeah, a bit not managing work properly because I'm managing. dealing with people across time zones yeah. and I think I'm being a little too accommodating of other people's time zones, if you see what I mean, because so, I'm new. <laughs> so I, was, I nearly said the name of the company and I was like, I can't edit that out if I say it. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so they're in the US. Are they? Uh, yeah, US, Australia. So it's like oh, either really early or really late. Or but uh, but also it's you know in this instance I will uh, um, take responsibility here. So I am taking responsibility and moving things around. So that's happening. Uh, but otherwise, you know, spring has sprung here. We have blue skies. We have a bit of sunshine. Got some daffodils in the garden. Uh, Nick has accepted that my what he considers to be quite a chaotic gardening style because he'd like things a bit more orderly. Now, actually, the garden gives lots of pleasure in lots of different... You can always find something to look at. There's a hmm. little daffodil over there or some weird pink flower that he doesn't know what it is over there. And maybe there's some, some kale over there in the middle of a flower bed. <gasps> Where did Imagine that come that. from? Imagine so that's that. why that my uh, eclectic gardening style. Anyway, how are you? <laughs> how am I? I, uh, I, 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 uh, I made the mistake of looking at my app store reviews this morning and got upset about why. Like, I got loads of good reviews for this one app, but for some reason, the first review you see is this two star one when you look at my app, and it's it's just stupid as well. It's like, oh, it it doesn't stop notifications. I'm like, it can't, and it's literally pops up a thing that says turn off your like turn in turn on do not disturb if you're connecting and and like for people like i I made it so patronizing to try and avoid that review and now that's the first review that comes up um so that mainly i'm just like i've just been um i've I've been i've just been waking up and just worrying about this live recording (laughs) This week mostly, um, but also getting excited about the the prospect of um, doing an actual show on Twitch. Feels very um, ooh, we're doing a show, and also hoping like if we can figure out the kinks with this and dialing someone in, then that's oh, something yes. that you know, like we can dial <gasps> other people in, or I can do different okay. shows, or you know, all sorts. Yeah, yeah. It's um, worth the effort then. On that ground, I, I was trying to work out what the why we were doing this, other than obviously from saving you time from editing, but. Uh, having other people join is a good reason yeah exactly i can get behind that and just i think just on the chat level and i see that bruce is here hi bruce hello bruce (laughs) bruce and shaz are here uh watching um so uh yeah it's exciting it's new it's different sorry if you're in canada though because we are doing this quite early well it's sort of some ungodly hour in your time in it i'm afraid um but yeah, I'm quite excited about um, I, the, the scope it has for the podcast as well, just getting some more ideas in the mix. And yeah, but it just means it's a bit more preparation for me. And I am I'm sort of feeling uncommonly sort of like adrenalized right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, so yeah, it's but yeah, it should be good. So um, yeah, there we go. I'm going to play the first interstitial clip. awkward sitting there watching that that's uh, <laughs> it's fine I was like oh what do we do can I talk can I talk well you can that's actually talk when those are playing but um yeah that was oh. a little clip of the bobbleheads in deserted central London um so asking why did you asking ask why? when you were in when you were doing this last these forms uh, you know when you're doing it are you asking why to the person I am always <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of, I think it's in part a, a professional um, 
you know, it's just now become a tick that I have mm. uh, because as a user researcher, I, I spend a lot of my time explaining to people that just asking people what they think about a thing is of no use to you unless you understand why they think that thing about it. Um, so that's one part of it. But it's like, um, so to get Nix, this is my, my another example of uh, these things is for Nick to to get his uh, temporary residency here in Croatia, we have had to prove that we have the income to support him being here. And one would think that a bank statement would suffice. No, no. <laughs> you have to go to the bank and ask the bank manager to write a letter that says, yes, this person has this much money in their account, mm -hmm. which is... I mean, I mean, I sent them a screenshot of my. I sent them all the bank statements. I sent them a screenshot a shot of the app. Okay, one could Photoshop these things, but why would one bother to? Um, so it's just these kind of. And then I was sitting there talking to the bank manager lady because I'd had to go in, I'd had to queue. It was not easy. Da, da, da. And she's like, "Yeah, I've been doing this for thirty, forty years." I was like, "Who is this serving? <laughs> why are we doing this? Who is happy about this? Who needs this? And why do they need it?" It's. Did they yeah, give you I an answer? Always. Though? Oh no! Just that it's how that's it's just in. a thing, Ivanka. That's just how it is. Just... And here they have this kind of like, it's, there's a sort of sentence where people sort of go, "Well, my dear Ivanka, that's just how it is." <laughs> <laughs> it's always been. Oh, that's how it is. And would you say? I mean, would you? How how can is that I, I, not to bring it into sort of con conservatism too much, but like is that uh, I guess there's a certain way in which like things are how they always how they've always been and we like it that way. We don't like things changing too much. Is, do you think that's part of it or? Well, I think we don't like change, and yeah. that's one of the reasons people don't try and fix things. Um, I mean, in the in the uh, and I know. I mean, in a in a in a in a context where I'm trying to sort out residency papers, I'm extremely powerless and have no yeah. leverage whatsoever yeah. at all. You know, I've just got to do it. There's no way around it. Um, but then, if you, but then I would like somebody else to be asking the questions. Why I would like to. The, the whatever user researcher, service designer, IT professor, whoever it is on the other side implementing, turning a paper form into an electronic form to go, hang on a minute, do they really need a letter from the bank manager or would a bank statement do? That's what I want to be happening yeah, yeah, all yeah. the time. So, and I suppose that's, that, that sort of intersects with the, that's the obsession with the the, the the other way it can go is an obsession with uh, efficiency and optimizing every single step of a process, um, which we've talked about the problems with that as well in the past. Like, oh, uh, if you sort of optimize, like there is something to be said for something having been a certain way for a long time, because it means that obviously if it was so terrible, surely the edge cases, the problems with it would have been discovered by now um, versus like, let's just kind of... Um, this just keep like uprooting the infrastructure over and over again in the name of optimization and like people slipping through the cracks as a result. Um, but I suppose that's I don't, yeah. maybe I don't that's something you're scared always, of, yeah. but uh, as a bureaucrat. I mean, I think certainly like in this instance, like if you, if the bank manager isn't writing letters confirming how much <laughs> money you've got in your account, what are they doing? I don't know. <laughs> what I, I'd like to think they've got better things to do than write letters about how much money a person has in their bank account. But so there is that bit of like, okay, if, if we take that pointless piece of bureaucracy away, who's going to lose their job or who's mm. not got some work to do? But then, you know, like if, if technology's, not use you know it's like i still do projects where we have like an objective to remove cut and paste from the project because there is yeah. some administrator somewhere having to do a job that a computer could be doing yeah 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 when they could be doing something nicer like welcoming people or returning phone calls or or, or helping those people that you know they'd have the time perhaps, to spend time with the people that can't do the automated thing, those people that are excluded or whatever. Yeah. Um, but no, let's just, no, we need to, we've got to cut and paste it from this screen 
into that screen. Yeah, and that's how it. That's, uh, how that's it is, just like because yeah. that's how it is because that's how we need to do it. Uh, those kind of things. That's, do I suppose my head in. Yeah, I suppose your example like uh, like um, alludes to like systems of trust, doesn't it? Who is the trustworthy person, and uh, what what are the kind of parameters of a trusted document? And all that kind of thing. And and the UK's problem is more that, well, makes it very easy. To, well, sort of places a lot of tr- trust in individuals compared to other countries, yeah. as I understand. I think that's, yeah. I think also, though, it's not just trust. It's I experience it as someone exerting power over mm. me, over my time. You know, why should I have to go to a doctor, go to potentially three or four different doctor's surgeries, in a, take half a day off work to go and find a doctor when mm. a doctor could be allocated. And this concept people yeah. throw in, this is where conservatism and, and capitalism gets annoying because they sort of then give you this illusion that you have some sort of choice. You choose yeah, your doctor. Choice. I don't <laughs> want a cho- choice of a GP. I just want a GP. Like you know, if there's in, uh, if, j- yeah, okay, yeah. if I re- if they really, if we really clash and I really don't like them, then we'll deal with that separately. But let's assume all GPs are good. Just give me one. You make sure <laughs> your GPs are good, and we'll yeah, you know, we'll, well, we'll just like have have a nice visit. You have to be a I bit suppose, more alert, don't you? Yeah, yeah. I suppose one of the dangers of what well, one of the, the traps I'm immediately falling into with this topic is, as soon as you start asking why, I start trying to explain why. I start trying to come in with an explanation, mm. and it's really like um, it's really hard to resist that that urge. Um, well, maybe it's because yeah, of the power. Maybe it's because of the trust. Maybe it's because of the. Maybe it's because oh, there's yeah, a yeah, good reason yeah, for it. Here's yeah, a bad reason yeah. for it. Yeah, um, but but then I think you've got to ask yourself what it serves, what purpose it serves, like. You know, you ask, so you get this, I'm being, for some reason I'm translating, uh, basically all these things that I'm experiencing, I'm like, what would I do if I got given this project? <laughs> you know, like if I was on this project and it was a digital transformation yeah. project, I'd like, what would I do? Step one, get the form and trace every little go. You ask this question, what do you do yeah. with the answer? Oh, we save it in a database. Okay, so you don't need that one. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, this uh, is one of the dangers of our sort of vocation is everywhere we look, we see poorly implemented systems that, that we true, know yeah. we could improve. And um, uh, to the point that I see it as like uh, probably a competitive advantage for me as an individual business person, being able to automate so much. And then I sort of look at anywhere else and they're just literally, you know, paying, temp- paying labor to copy and paste things between spreadsheets. And um, yeah, a lot of people's jobs so much could be automated um but it's it is quite a it's not a, an amazingly common set of skills um to, to to know how to like a ask the ask the questions that you know how to ask because obviously you're an expert question answer on asker ask her. I ask am her. Expert, question right? asker <laughs> um most people they'll they'll sort of um you won't it's, it's hard to ask like an open-ended why um without like most people want to bring like oh it just needs to be like this oh it's just this oh this yeah, they'll yeah. sort of identify your, yeah. your, the tendency is to identify what's wrong with something and then say oh i think this is and say that to the people oh this is wrong with it um but it probably it's probably like that rhetorical thing of like asking them why it's that way is it might be in a if you have no leverage <laughs> that's that's kind of maybe your only hope really but I, I think, yeah, I think there's this weird, um, in in some ways, though, the asking why can be really frustrating for the first person who's being asked why, especially if they don't have any power. Why do you yeah, need yeah. me to do this? Because you do, because it's my job to collect these pieces of paper and I just need the piece of paper and just go and get it. You know, and it's like this, because I, I had this, and I think it's, there's this weird overlap with kind of going back to your review that you had, this was kind of unsolicited input or unsolicited <laughs> advice from people to go, 
did you know <laughs> that you could not use this piece of paper? And there's another way. It's like, do you know what? I, right now, today, the last thing I want is for you to tell me how my job could be different. Could you please mind your own business and just do the thing I've asked you to do? So there is that sort of uh, side of it as well. Yeah. And um, we also know, like, the chances are if you start asking too many questions, you're going to create an awful lot of work for yourself and an awful <laughs> lot of expense. And it's going to take an awful long time to to change it because yeah, um, you yeah. can't just change it can you and it's certainly in a bureaucracy no. you can't just change it you've got to like you've got to go through all these layers of you know and it's just like is this bad enough that we're gonna yeah, yeah, bother yeah, with yeah. it or is well, it fine yeah. like, because well, yeah, it, it's like once you're used to doing things a certain way then you just got the muscle memory you've got the thing you just it's only new people coming to it that go and have seen a different way of doing things and yeah. go, what is this? Are you yeah. nuts? Yeah. Yeah. There's like, yeah, there's, t- there's, there are a couple of things. There's like the, on a personal sort of like, okay, so you've noticed this thing. What are you going to do about it? You know, are you going to, it's like, um, are you going to write to somebody? Are you going to ignore it? Are you going to live with it? Are you going to try and work around it? Are you going to, what are you going to do like on a personal level? Are you, is it, does it bother you enough to do so? And we're taking examples, like the examples I've given, all they really are, are I, I find them offensive because they they show a lack of respect for me and my mm. time. That's totally I've said that already once. So I think it's like it really bugs me. Yeah. Um, but but I also appreciate. But in many ways, they're also being disrespectful of the person who's having to collect the things. Yeah. And do the things. It's like surely a bank manager's got a better thing to do. Surely <laughs> the person in the police station, you know, doesn't matter what piece of paper they attach to the thing, whatever. But like there's something about the um, the what are you going to do about it that I think is the danger in the art. You know, once you've worked out the why and. <laughs> <laughs> I think um, there's a there's because I've been I've been picturing um, sort of moving to Italy and having to deal with unprecedented levels of bureaucracy there. And um, sort of like an antagonistic state kind of thing. Um, and so I've been reading The Dark Heart of Italy and uh, looking at, you know, someone goes in and it takes a week to do something that should take five minutes. And I, but, but I think like the way I'm thinking about it is a lot of the anger comes from things shouldn't be like this. Things shouldn't be like there's always that, you know, anger comes, you get upset because things shouldn't be the way they are. You should be uh, doing shouldn't be making me run around in circles my time is too valuable for this um but i suppose once you get past that you can start to work with it and just okay well i'm just going to plan out this week is going to be i'm just going to make the most of this week i'm going to bring it's like it's more when it's unexpected that it's a problem like oh this trip took an hour is not a problem if you knew it was going to take an hour and you brought a book if you just thought it was going to take two minutes and you're stuck there with your phone and no reception and no book then it's a, a lot worse um, so a lot of it's sort of the expectations. It, why does this not uh, meet my expectations? Why is reality not meeting my expectations? Answer yeah, the question. A, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but I think like for for me, there's a bit as well of like. So obviously, I think the examples we're given are fixable and changeable. If somebody got given the project and they could do it right. But then there's other things like why is why are all the beaches covered in rubbish? Oh, because, because, you know, it's like, unless you start, because that's how it is, because those were, you know, like, the, uh, there is some things that you should accept because otherwise you'd go mad and you'd be angry all the time. But some things, I think if everyone accepts them, then we can't make progress. We can't fix really important things. I don't really want my kid growing up. She brings things to me and she says, it's like we were having this argument about sweets, uh, I may have already told this story. I hope I haven't. But she was like, because I don't let her have sweets every day. You know, I'm in yeah. charge of the teeth. <laughs> sweets, bad. And she goes, but mommy, why do they even sell Kiki sweets in the shop if 
they're not good for you? That's a good question. That is an excellent question, <laughs> child. <laughs> it's like, there is a, there is, so then you can have a conversation about personal versus responsibility versus sort of society societal responsibility. I mean, why do they still sell Kinder eggs? <laughs> why? 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 It's not good chocolate, and it's a lot of waste. Mm. And if you look you know, at, but if you can imagine the uh, the cancel culture outrage if they cancel Kinder eggs, uh, we had Mr. But the Kinder eggs head, deserve head, to be cancelled. All Seuss. those like decisions being made that are perfectly fine, but being uh, framed as cancel culture by the by the right wing media, lovely. Um, but yeah, it comes down to what's important. Um, like stuff's going to take investment to change. What's the most important thing? Where are we going to put our eggs? Um, the reason for something being the way it is is probably because it was never quite important enough to get the attention it deserves. Um, but but the, yeah, I was thinking as well. I was talking to somebody about the sort of acceptance culture here. Like, oh, that's the way it is. Uh, and I was like, well, why? You know, I I. I wonder if starting on something really simple, like in the UK, there's that, there's like, like that fix, fix my street website yeah. or my society. There's a few of those websites where you can all, they work for us as a pal as a, as a way of engaging with things that isn't like big and fanciful. It is quite simply has the person you, you voted for said anything in parliament this year <laughs> to earn their key, you know, if there is a there is a light bulb missing in one of the street lights in my street, I can report it and it can get fixed. You know that kind yeah. of like is there is there a um, non controversial uh, like are, are there non controversial things that we can ask everybody to join in with changing so so like they can practice their activism or their anti acceptance mm. before they launch into something bigger like banning kinder eggs because oh. obviously that is the next most important thing <laughs> not fossil fuels or anything controversial no, that's Me. The other day, I was at some lights and I was waiting on my bike at the lights and this guy on a motorbike came up behind me and we were there for a few seconds and uh, the sun was out and he went, uh, what, uh, aren't you too hot in that coat? And I, and I, because <laughs> I had my winter coat on because I wasn't expecting it to be so cold. And I actually had the presence of mind to like do my stand up routine on him and go, why are strangers always so interested on whether in whether i'm too warm in my coat i don't understand why this is so important to you and he sort of like like then the lights changed it disappeared off <laughs> and i was like i was just too i didn't think it was going to be this warm uh, rhetorical hilarious comedic questions that is all i have to say on that <laughs> like sometimes you just uh I, this subject is strange, isn't it? Like uh, asking why. Sometimes you just do it for the laughs. Well, yeah. You do Let's intellectualise that. <laughs> take all the humour out of it. Let's take all the joy out of just going. Why is it that? Um, have you ever noticed? Have you ever, yeah, I don't know. I think uh, <laughs> I don't know where to go with that now. Uh, I'm sorry. Um, I was being all earnest. <laughs> yeah, well, I just thought we were being quite earnest. It's like, come on. <laughs> um, and I'm trying to like figure out how to flesh out this uh, this topic uh, beyond, because like that. I mean, it's, the problem is, um, things are the way they are. For like, why is the queen the queen? Because some barbarians her, yeah, hundreds of years ago had the biggest thugs yeah they were the worst <laughs> thugs ages ago and then they sort of invented this whole uh like illusion of nobility and royalty and just sort of built on that and now that's just protected on the basis of what just they they happened to get they were just first in yeah they're just <laughs> the biggest thugs uh yeah i think but i you know i think that that but if nobody had questioned things along the way like 
you know, I think we have a duty to ask why. I yeah, feel very strongly about this. <laughs> you may have noticed. But there's that whole sort of, you know, like if you, you, you cannot start to make anything better unless you're, you, you, you ask why it's the way it is. I, I don't think you can. I mean, you can comment that it is wrong, yeah. I think. I don't think it's the same right. to go, this is wrong. And why is this like this? Because... I don't like this. Uh, it doesn't get anyone anywhere. But if, if no. you can, and do, but and does understanding, does getting the answers for that necessarily help? I think it can help potentially give you a strategy. Mm. You know, like if if um, the you know why is, why is the queen the queen because her ancestors were thugs? Yeah. You know, you can have a conversation about that. But they make shiny you? stuff now, so it's all good. It's, it was all worth yeah, it. Yeah, and they tourists like them tourists and stuff. Like but, you know, them. like, if you think about it in terms of... But once you start answering a few of those things, I think it hopefully... I'd, I'd like to think it might spark some curiosity as well. Like, do you know, you know so I think... sometimes I you think... just don't even realise that something can be asked the question of, that something can be questioned. Right. So that's 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 important. And that's, I guess, the chil- the, the joy of children, as I understand it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the constant, why, 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 why. you never really thought about yeah. and why it's important to like travel and try different types of things because you're like oh this didn't have to be like this and I just never really thought of that as a variable but do you think yeah. there's a point at which it it sort of stops being valuable to ask why uh, what is there a point that we would we would ask why of everything so much that we'd lose all of the magical illusions that we've created around ourselves that well, sustain it, our sort of you know I think here we to, are. yeah I totally, I mean, you can't, you have to pick your, I think, I think, yes, it would take some of the magic out of it, uh, (laughs) the enjoyment of life, but also I think it would, it'd be exhausting. You'd go drive yourself nuts, wouldn't you? After after a while, you'd be like, it's like when, you know, if your train's being cancelled, at some point you just kind of, you have to, it is healthier to go, okay, I'm going to go for a nice drink or a, buy myself some yeah. food or have a look at a new book while I wait for the next train rather than bloody train service, blah, blah, blah. Why are they doing, you know, can't they do the, you know, there is absolutely a massive case for acceptance. Yeah. Trains <laughs> just get cancelled. Um, and this is why we don't as well, like if, if you wanted to, uh, this is why you don't take LSD every day because it's too much just to question every aspect of reality at every moment. Like you need to, uh, yeah, you sort of need to pick your battles and you need to, you know, yeah. just oh, maybe once or twice per life is enough. Um, <laughs> to I spe- uh, yeah, I suppose, yeah, now you've made me to think about it in terms of like contentment as well. Like mm. taking the argument that contentment is a, a very strong component of feeling that your life is a happy life. It's mm. like, I'm content. But it's like, how can you be content queuing for half a day to get a GP? <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, that, is, that is not a, or how can you well, be you content? Could buy, you could by on. making, like making a day of it, right? Like, <laughs> let's, uh, let's take a picnic. I mean, we, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's just. No, I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know if I told you this. So Nick and I invented this concept of a border day, which yeah. we still maintain in our life. Because when we did that motorcycle trip, every time you crossed a border, you had to allow a day for carrying your motorcycle papers from window to window and getting mm. stamps and that, that, that. And, and we just adopted that day. And on those days, you're allowed to have treats and you can buy cakes and you can drink whatever, you know, like it's like a free right. ticket. Cause <laughs> like, uh, so, so we have the concept of, we go, oh, it's a border day today. Right. So we can do something that's you know, eat unhealthy food or whatever, treat yourself yeah. in some way. Uh, but in that context, you can, you absolutely can make it part of your, part of the experience and, and be content and just be in it and, and, and enjoy, enjoy it for what it is. But that is a very luxurious thing that I'm describing, you know, traveling across the world on a motorcycle, yeah. like absolutely paperwork is part of the experience and there's yeah. no point getting frustrated by it. Yeah. But if it's something you have to do on a daily basis, or on a regular basis, that like takes your time away from your child or your just sitting yeah. and looking at the sky, if that's what you want to do, like, 
you know, going to stand around with people who are sick when you're not. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to do that. For the record, I didn't do that. But, you know, um, I, I found a way around it. But, Good. Good. Well, and I have I a GP now, but it took about a month. <laughs> you can't, anyway. Um, yeah. Bruce there you says, go. because I say so. Well... <laughs> <laughs> That is, I have used that argument before now. Not with the child, though, more in a work context. Yeah, well. Don't know. It's like, yeah, listen, pirate. we've had the debate. We've had the debate, and the debate was cool. And now I am going to decide. I suppose, yeah, like in terms of leadership, someone <laughs> asking you why all the time is freaking exhausting. Uh, it's like, I've thought about this. Um, yeah. I've actually thought, it's, I suppose it's like infuriating when you've already. I, I've already thought about this question. You're not giving me anything by asking why. I've already asked why. I know why. I'll explain to you yeah. why for most of them, but can you just let me get on with it? Like sometimes you've... I, I've just been thinking in like the... To, to be a leader, you do have to be decisive and you do have to be stable in sort of how you present the plan. Um, but... Um, and that... But... The, the, yeah, the extreme end of that is obviously being a sort of a, a tyrant, that well, autocrat that won't yeah. listen You've to anyone earn the trust. any questions. Like when, yeah, um, you... like when, um, you know, I was like when I started at Canonical and like, you know, we were all asking the same question. Each one of us came onto the team and was like, well, why is this like this? This is nonsense. And, to the, and then it was just like, I don't want to have to explain this to each new person. It's like, well. <laughs> Maybe the reason you're having to explain this to each new person is because there's some sort of flaw in it that could be addressed. And it takes, like, you do have to have a little bit of, um, you know, ability to question the plan sometimes, even if you're... Yeah, yeah. You know. But I think, like, as in a leader role, role, as, as, le as a leader, you need to earn the respect and the trust to go, look, can we just not debate this one or... Because I said so. Like, even with your kid, I, you know, the, because I said so, it's not, I, I don't, you know, I've tried very hard not to do that to the child. Um, but the because I said so is like, I do, it's, it doesn't get you very far. It doesn't <laughs> like extend the relationship in any way, does it? Yeah. Doesn't well, like. That's all I, that's, I mean, that was the, the explanation <laughs> I usually got as a child. <laughs> you know, that was. I don't. And I didn't like it. It didn't lead to a, you know, it doesn't lead to you sort of feeling like you've, you're, you're valid, you know. And no, 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 no. I think that's the point. Like it doesn't, yeah. And everyone is valid. Not, yeah. Anyone who's not <laughs> like horribly depressed knows that a child has a lot of, a lot to offer and that it, it, it's delightful to answer their well, stupid, yeah. incessant <laughs> questions. <laughs> Never <laughs> ending. And they are very entertaining though, I find. Um, Mine is, don't know about yours. <laughs> my child outed for a secret child um yes okay we're at uh we're at like 33 minutes <laughs> it's felt like longer. <laughs> maybe this is the secret to having shorter podcast episodes yeah maybe we just let it be short and then just oh god um it was a, it's a strange subject. I, I, it was sort of like hastily arrived at as well. So I just, I don't even, like, why did we, ask, why are we talking about asking why? Who knows? <laughs> it's just infuriating when things are wrong. Things are wrong. Things should not be this way. <laughs> I'm asking, do you think, um, do you think um, you're ever asking why in that situation in bad faith and you just want to, like, we just like to moan, don't we? Oh, I do. I think there's that horrible style that some people have of like that. I think it's supposedly, which is sort of a passive aggressive. Why? Yeah. So can you tell me why this is like this? Just to test you? <laughs> yeah. Just stick it Go up away. your jumper. If you want, if you want to see me <laughs> react really childishly in a professional <laughs> environment, please do try that on me. Um, <laughs> I love that bit of live self-censorship. And on that note, I'm just going to play the end, <laughs> end credits. Uh... <laughs> Here we are. That 
know it's our first live podcast episode and I kind of want to cry. Like, I'm just Ma- like, Michael's exhausted. I'm exhausted. I'm so worried about the technicals and I've, the whole time I wish I'd got Ivanka to stick a freaking... Because um, the, um, the audio has been wrong from Ivanka's side the whole way through because she's moved microphones and now I'm getting more reflections and I don't want you to think that that's a product of the new format. It's just literally she changed the position in the room and I forgot, to, I didn't notice soon enough that, yeah, so there needs to be like a cushion behind you or something because we were getting, it was sounding a bit like more um. echoey today. Um, but that's, yeah, that's that's fine. That's, that's not going to happen every time. Um, if you like the podcast, <laughs> oh, and you want to see how... You want to see, you want to right see Michael pumping adrenaline oh, and Ivanka just trying to keep up. <laughs> I am pumping. Hopefully, I'll be more relaxed next week. And it's um, it's 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 a lot. Like um, I feel a lot of responsibility. But hey, if you want to come to twitch.tv slash um. Well, it's gonna. There's a slash grand podcast, but we put it on Michael Forrest uh, because I have the ability to get subs and things, and I already have some people following. So that sort of felt like it made more sense. Um, so come and um, follow us there, and you can join in. And it's Friday mornings UK time at uh, ten thirty. If you want to see the full video version of this episode, it'll be up on YouTube via Patreon. So you'll have to support us on Patreon if you want to see the 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 the, the vod of that, as they call it in Twitch, video on demand. Where can people People find you on the internet, Ivanka. People can find me at Ivanka on Twitter. Um, you can find me at Michael Forrest on Twitter and also on like loads of other places. I'm spread too thin. Find me on YouTube. Find me on. Um, it's mate. I'm about to do a new YouTube video, so that's 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 probably a good place. Uh, but mainly just Twitter. I'll try and, I forgot to tweet that we were recording. That was something else. Oh, to I do. think that's wise though. <laughs> the, first <laughs> the first one. <laughs> I thought about it and thought. Mm. Do you know what? I'm not going to do that this time. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bruce says well done and Shaz says thank you. This was fun. So that's oh, nice. Oh, thank you both. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> yes. yes. Um, and I think, yeah, I think that's everything, isn't it? Um, grandpodcast.com. And yeah. I'm going to try and press the right button. And oh, so we've got the outro transition. So with that, that was our first live episode, 158. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.